In 2010, Retro Studios shocked the world with the release of Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, reviving the series almost two decades after the first installment came out. The game received stellar reviews and was praised for both its level design and difficulty. Just four years later, Retro upped the ante with the release of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on February 21st, 2014. This time around, Retro Studios was lauded for its addition of water levels as well as the inclusion of two new sidekicks, Dixie and Cranky Kong. Tropical Freeze is full of amazing little details and easter eggs that really show the effort and care that the designers put into the game, and I'm going to show you a few of them. Here's my list of top 10 things in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze that you didn't know were in the game but are in fact actually in the game, and yes this is true, but don't quote me on it. Funky Kong is a well-established character in the Donkey Kong universe, and he makes a reappearance in Tropical Freeze as the owner of the item shop. Something you may not have noticed is when you buy a shield for your minecart, Funky will say, Vehicle troubles? It's dangerous to go alone. Take one of these. Reverencing the famous line from the original Legend of Zelda for the NES. And now isn't that neat and also interesting? Number nine! When thinking of partners that could assist DK, the dev team originally thought of Lanky Kong, from Donkey Kong 64, as a possibility. They eventually scrapped the idea, and one dev was quoted as saying, We really like the thought of adding Lanky back into the mix, but when it came down to it, he has no style. He has no grace. That 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 Ooh, number eight. You may have noticed that if you put the controller down and don't touch it for a bit, Donkey Kong will get bored and start playing on his 3DS. What's cool is that each of his partners will do something different depending on who you're currently with. The most interesting is Cranky Kong, who will choose not to watch DK play his game, but instead catch up on the news. If you zoom in real close, you can read the headline, Scandal, Princess Peach Caught Cheating with Waluigi. Boy, Mario may be a plumber, but he sure has a thing or two to learn about laying pipe. <laughs> <laughs> The story of Tropical Freeze starts off with the Kongs all celebrating DK's birthday when a group of animal vikings come barging in, freeze DK Island, and blast the Kongs out of their home. But this wasn't always the plot to the game. The developers originally planned to have everyone gathered to celebrate Dixie's baby shower, but they eventually scrapped the idea due to potential backlash from certain religious groups with the implication of premarital sex. Also, it's just real gross that Cranky got up in there. One of the most interesting parts of Tropical Freeze is the main villain, Lord Frederick, and his tribe of snowmads. Fans were pleased with this batch of enemies, especially compared to Woody the Date Rapist back in Donkey Kong Country Returns. When talking about the snowmads, one of the developers, Kevin Applebaum, said, The snowmads were actually an example of how good ideas can come from anywhere. I often go on special Canadian safaris where I will hunt down and club baby seals. I thought to myself, hey, this is like, unnaturally fun. I wish everyone could experience this very fun and somehow completely legal act of animal abuse. And at the time we were still in early development for the DK sequels, so I thought, why not let that shitty ape beat up on defenseless beached walruses in a children's game? And yeah, the rest was smooth sealing, I mean sailing. Number 5 In a game filled to the brim with unique level design and attention to detail, it's hard to imagine how much time was spent going over ideas and concepts. When talking about the inspiration for a fan-favorite level, Scorchin' Torch, one of the developers, Kevin Applebaum, said, Yeah, so I've been doing this thing recently where I'll, I'll just frickin' buy a ticket to Namibia or some shit and bring along, I don't know, 60, 70 gallons of kerosene and a butt-ton of matches and really just let loose. I'm serious. I should be, like, on a no-fly list at the very least. It's absolutely a failing of our democracy. Absolutely. Number four! It may surprise you to know that one of the producers was arrested during development of the game. One of the developers, Kevin Applebaum, had this to say. Yeah, we were all more than a little freaked out when they found all that child porn on Tim's computer. I hope he rots in jail for a long time. I mean, Jesus, man. Fuck. The German translation for Tropical Freeze has some easter eggs that aren't present in the American version. This is most likely due to the German localization team tending to give characters slightly different personalities than those in the American or Japanese translations. For example, in the US, Funky Kong is known as a surfer bro and says things like, your tie is looking tubular, DK, is that a cotton blend you got there? However, in the German translation, Funky's personality is more akin to that of famed 19th century moral philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, with quotes like, God is dead, God remains dead, and we have killed him, along with, 
I say unto you, one must still have chaos in oneself to give birth to a dancing star. Number two! Originally, Retro Studios toyed with the idea of possibly making Tropical Freeze for a more mature audience, to follow up on the success of the Metroid Prime trilogy, which they also developed. The studio had an ambitious goal to create alternate endings for the game based on which Kong partner you favored the most. After you beat the final boss, the game would calculate which partner you spent the most time using and would play a different cutscene, killing off that Kong in order to increase tension and possibly open up the door for a potential sequel. If you used Cranky the most, he would be brutally impaled by debris from the exploding Viking ships. Dixie would soon learn that she's very allergic to that particular type of flower. And DK would just straight up eat Diddy Kong because he's a goddamn ape with no moral compass. One. One of the wildest and most ridiculed fan theories that has circulated about Tropical Freeze is the alleged connection with the September 11th terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. Many fans dismissed these theories, but there was always a small group that held on to their convictions, despite very little evidence being available to support their claims. These players cited Cranky's long beard, Donkey Kong's tendency to always be around planes and plane wreckage, Funky's shop being actually made out of a plane, and the fact that the Kongs are fighting Viking-like creatures, a stand-in for the white race. Many people thought these connections were purely happenstance, and the theory was nothing more than ramblings of some misinformed trolls. However, recently, a hacker by the name of AnimeFuckBoy69 discovered some hidden secrets in the game's code. Most people know that collecting each letter in Kong for every world will open up a secret level for that world. But if you manipulate the game's code and spell out Bush did 9-11, you'll unlock a secret rocket barrel level where you play as the W himself and the final boss is democracy. So next time your parents are all up in your beeswax about getting off the internet and actually reading a goddamn book for once in your life, you tell them you did learn something today. Perhaps even two things. And that's really what matters. And then you kick your parents. That's right, kick your parents, you stupid little piece of shit.